once the staircase is installed, which will form diagonal sections up to the loft. But the reason why we do them at 400 centers is because the plasterboard will land, if installed properly, at the center of the timber. Uh, and then those guys will skim over it and it'll be a freshly plastered wall. We're gonna plaster the whole house. So on this one we have um, a partial stud wall. This is going to form part of um, a divide between the new staircase which is going into the loft and the bedroom which is in here. We've pinched a little bit of the bedroom in order to get a staircase in. So this is a stud wall. There is some extra parts of the stud wall going in once the staircase is installed which will form a diagonal section up to the loft and then it will be fully plasterboarded and skimmed and then we'll have storage to get to underneath the staircase. If we built it all the way along, we're kind of losing a, quite an area of space. The stud walls are built with 400mm centres. And what that means is between the centre of this wall, this stud, sorry, and this stud is 400mm. And the centre between this stud and this stud is 400 centimetres. This one is obviously made up because it's part of the end piece of timber that will form the door casing, or the surround for the door casing. And the reason we do 400 centers is it works perfectly. The plasterboards come in 1200 by 2400 or 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters. Um, these are 12 and a half mil plasterboards, standard plasterboard. Nine mils is um, a little repair jobs. 12 and a half mil is what this plasterer should be using in your house for the ceilings and the walls. There's different types of plasterboard. You get fire rated plasterboard moisture resistant plasterboard which tends to be found in bathrooms and wet areas and they'll form things like divides between flats or HMO houses and things like that you'll have to have some sort of sound blocks so that sound doesn't travel through but the reason why we do them at 400 centers is because a plasterboard will land if installed properly at the center of the timber which means half of the plasterboard is on that side Half of the plasterboard is on this side. Um, so plasterboard is 50-50 split and it catches the board, catches a screw and is like less likely to crack. So in this particular house, we are re-skimming the whole house. We have a number of plasterboards behind us. As you can see, these are going up in the loft. The loft has never had plasterboards in it. It's getting some insulation between the membrane and the plasterboard to form part of building regulations. It will have to be a insulated plasterboard. These are going on the walls and the lower sections and they're overboarding the ceilings in every single room in this house as they're all board cracked and um, in need of repair. We're going to overboard them because it saves a bit of money in terms of time, obviously labour and skips. They don't need to be uh, completely dropped, we can just overboard them and skim and save time and money which is what we all need to be doing on a, on a project and all the walls will be plastered. These are solid walls. The chases will be done with a, a bonding, um, socket chases and wire chases for switches and lights. They'll all be chased in um, by the electrician and then bonded by the plasterers. Once the bonding's dry, it'll have a PVA or SBR on the walls. That'll form um, a contact for the plasterers so it doesn't soak in on the dry walls uh, and then those guys will skim over it and it'll be a freshly plastered wall we're going to plaster the whole house so every single wall needs doing it's going to need bonding uh, repairing and then skimming guys I'll show you around and see the state of the current walls